Ciao, I'm Mariana Esposito. I'm Michele Rabazzi. Today on Ciao Italia, cooking with Chef Rabazzi in Tuscany. The region of Tuscany is famous for its beautiful countryside, delicious food, and world famous wines. If you're lucky enough to visit Castello Banfi Il Borgo, you'll get to enjoy all three, thanks to the talents of the Castello's executive chef, Michele Rabazzi. He's a non-stop artist when it comes to food. Today we're getting a behind-the-scenes look at how he creates two of their signature dishes with a sure hand and a decisive manner. Michele is a master of the kitchen, and we're about to find out why. So I'm anxious to see how you make pasta because today you're telling me we're going to make the tagliatelle al pesto. Exactly. Okay. So we need flour, zero, zero. Mm -hmm. Yes. A normal one. Yes. Eggs. Eggs. Just a bit of oil. Mm -hmm. And salt. And salt. Very easy. Okay. So we need for each egg 100 grams of flour. Okay. So we prepared 300 today. So you, you notice that he is going to weigh everything, and I know we don't operate that way on that system, but if you want to get a better result from what you're cooking, it's really good to have a scale. And so we want 300 grams yeah. of you're going to use unbleached all-purpose flour at home. He's using a double zero flour, tipo dopo zero. Doppio zero. Do, do, doppio zero. So that's equivalent to like an unbleached all-purpose flour that we have A at bit home. of salt. A little bit of salt, okay. We're mixing like this, the salt break the flour. Ma non si usa la fontana. Possiamo fare Possiamo, la fontana. Possiamo, sì. Si. Ma... <laughs> È meglio farla qui per rompere la farina. Okay, so I said to him, I said, well, how come you're not doing this on the board and in now the fontana? We make la fontana. And now we make the fontana. And the reason he did this in the bowl first is because he really wanted to mix the salt in very well. Believe me, the first time I did this was all over my shoes, but <laughs> I've improved. <laughs> okay, and you see, use a cinque, cinque, tre uova. Tre uova. Okay. Un uovo ogni 100 grammi di farina. Sì, sì, today. Okay, that's right, you said that. Okay. So. Okay, three Very eggs. fresh eggs. Very fresh, yes. And again, you're going to mix it here before you put it there, yeah. right? See, I always just put it in there, but I'm learning new things. Yeah, because you break all the eggs. Yeah. Like this, you have. More Better control, though you control. don't have the, yeah. the change of the color. Mm -hmm. So we want to whip in a little air into these eggs. So every 100 grams of flour, you're using one egg. But of course, that all depends on the size of the eggs that you're using. So, you know, a lot of this is like right here. Perfetto. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Why would you want to do this in a machine? Miss all the fun. I just a, a drop of scotch. oil. Okay, just a little oil. Yeah. Okay. And we can start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I do this, it reminds me of my nonna because she always did it like this too. Yeah. And I do it like this. It's important to make it slowly, slowly. Otherwise, yes, everything, everything go goes in your shoes. <laughs> That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. So now how, how much pasta is this going to make? Enough for how many people? Four, four people. Four people, okay. Because in Italia, pasta is a first course, right? Yeah. Yes. And in America, we tend to eat too much pasta as a first course. Yeah. It's just a small serving, right? Yeah. Yeah. Usually we, we serve pasta for first and we eat like a four person, 100 grams. 100 grams, did you hear that? So, do you eat pasta every day? Every day. Every day. Yeah. And look at him. Mm. It's like a medicine. It's like a medicine. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> yes. Okay, now you can use both hands because now we yeah. have to get this into a dough. Now we have to. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to let it rest, right? Yeah, for 30 minutes almost. Mm -hmm. And why do you do that? Let's tell them why you do that. Uh, because the flour and the eggs have to be just one thing. Okay. The, they don't be better and you can mm -hmm. use for... It's stretch. easier to knead. Yeah. yeah. And that, our dough. 
Basta così. Basta okay. così. Okay. Ready. So now we rest. Let, let it rest. Yeah, just rest. Okay. Okay. Allora. Okay. Okay. And we cover with a plastic film. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. take a rest for okay. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay. Perfect. We start to preparing mm -hmm. our tagliatelle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we take a piece of dough and we just arrange a bit. Use a flour, otherwise mm -hmm. be sticky in the... Non si attacca. Exactly. So it doesn't stick. He's putting flour on the board. Okay. And un mattarello. Mattarello. Okay. And we start to make tea. Okay. So now it's a bit fine. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, we are ready for cut. Mm-hmm. So more now, flour. So much flour. Yeah. Because you're gonna roll it up again. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit of semolina. Semolina. You see, he's using a lot of flour here. That's because when he cuts this, he'll be able to pull those tagliatelle. They won't stick together. Mm. Okay, more flour. Voilà. Voilà. Okay. And now Italia. E ora si taglia. Italia. Okay. Mm -hmm. and About that wide. This is the size. Yes. Because if you make more big, it's pappardelle. It's pappardelle. If you make more small, it's uh, tagliolini. <laughs> it's tagliolini. Okay. So you see how easy they they unfold because he's got the flour on there. If, if you didn't have a lot of flour, you couldn't, you couldn't unfold them. And what's beautiful about this is that each one is different. So it's a handmade artisanal product. And that makes all the difference. Okay, okay. now he opens them up. Look at that, beautiful. And you have your tagliatelle. And we have the tagliatelle. Let's see. Beautiful. So now you're going to make a pesto sauce. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So first things, our basil. Yeah. We take all the small, small leaves of basil. Okay. Now you all know that pesto is a sauce that's particular to Liguria, right? Yes, it's exactly. It's a Ligurian sauce, but that doesn't mean you can't use it someplace else. Anyway, this is an uncooked sauce. This is a raw sauce. A salsa crude. Exactly. Cruda. Si, cruda. But here is what is important. Do you see the size of those leaves? They're small. This is something I learned when I was on a basil farm yeah. in Liguria, watching them make pesto. In fact, they were the pesto masters. And it's important to use the small leaves. In fact, they're so particular that they would take out this little center vein here. So they would pull this apart, take out this little vein in the center because they didn't like that. Well, if you're using small leaves, that's great for a mortar and a pestle. This is a mortar. This is the pestle. This is where the name of this sauce comes from. Exactly. Because pesto comes from pestare, to pound down. And so this is an exercise with your muscles to pound down these leaves with, what are we going to use with it? Mortaio. No, what are we going to put with the uh, basil? Ah, uh, now the, the um, salt. Okay. And this is sale grosso, right? Si. We need not fine salt, we need coarse salt. Why? Because the abrasiveness of the coarse salt against the basil leaves is what is going to help you make the sauce. Exactly. Exactly. They break, break all it the down. leaves. Okay. So now he adds the salt. A bit of salt and we start to and we break. We break the we break, break our the leaves. leaves. And you can sing a few songs while you're doing this, you know? I mean, it takes yeah. time. <laughs> you, you take the writing. <laughs> yeah, right. 
you and you go against the side of the of the mortar to help you. First, you have to break cut, break uh, break the all leaves the apart. leaves, yeah. and after you go around. You go around. Yes. Okay. So just a bit of mm -hmm. garlic. Okay. And we continue. And I'll open the olive oil for you because obviously you. we need some extra virgin olive oil to get us to that saucy consistency. So now we're adding cheese. Yeah, we add just a bit of Parmesan. Parmigiano and pecorino. Really a bit of pecorino because it's very salty. Yes, so we have to control the amount yeah, of salt exactly. we add. exactly. So you, two cheeses, the Parmigiano and Reggiano, cow's milk cheese, and the pecorino, which of course is pecorino toscano because we're here in Tuscany. A bit of oil, a little oil. and we start again. Okay. Let's try. Asajare. Asajare. Okay, see. First of all, I want to show them the color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, going in. Mm. It's good? Very good. Perfect. I taste it. Basta così. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Okay. So now we have just to cook for uh, a minute. Yes. Our pasta. Fresh pasta cooks in no time whatsoever. Less than a minute. Look at how the water is boiling. E si usa sale con acqua. Si, si. un po' di sale. Ah, here's a question. Yeah. People ask me this all the time. Do you put oil in the water? No. You heard it here. Just in a Tuscany. legend. It's a legend. It's a myth. Don't do it. No oil. Because chemically, the water remaining on top of the water. So if yeah. you put water you mean oil. The, yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. the oil is up, so nothing okay. happened. Nothing Just is beautiful. Second. Even the color now has changed of the pasta. But fresh pasta is a totally different thing than dried pasta. Dried pasta, you know, you have to look on the box and cook it al dente. This is almost cooked. So now we have our pasta ready. Cook it. Yes. And we add the, the pesto. pesto. Beautiful, look at that color. And you notice that this pasta is not sticking together, no. No. Because we used enough water to yeah. cook it, right? And very high boiling. The high boiling. So now you mescolare un po' to coat all of those beautiful noodles that you made. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, classic. Just a bit of water. A off. little bit of the pasta water because it's starchy. So that's going to help smooth out the sauce, help it cling to the pasta. Mm. Wow. E questo è una porzione, sì? Questa è una porzione, porzione. bella abbondante. Okay. Look at that. And he twirls it in his soup ladle to give it a nice round look. Beautiful. That's our work. Hey, it's a work of art. A work of art. Yeah. Beautiful. A little bit of pesto. Okay. Okay? Please. Okay? Taste. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here goes. Mmm. No word. Perfect. I'm speechless. Mm, try. What do you think about? Mm. I think, I think, I can't think. It's too good. Perfect. I can't think. Okay, now you're going to make a very unusual vegetable strudel. Exactly. Okay, so how do we start? So we start with our vegetable. Okay. We have so to we clean melanzane. and cut in a small cubes, like a small ratatouille. Okay, so. And where did you get this recipe from? This recipe comes from executive chef. It's a recipe we do like a starter or main courses. Okay. Take it's up this. to you. Si lascia così. Si. Okay. Mm -hmm. With the skin. Mm -hmm. So leaving the skin on because the skin is good, right? Yeah. The skin is Have good. 
all the vitamin and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, basta. Go basta. Deep. Okay, basta. Okay. Okay, so for this, he's going to do this in a puff pastry, which is something that requires a lot of time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Molto tempo. That's why okay. I already prepared. Okay, so in padella. In padella. Uh -huh. Okay. Ecco qua. See, allora, non si usa questo. No, basta. No. Okay. More than enough. Okay. E ora andiamo a cuocere. Okay. Okay. Con un po' di olio di oliva. Olio di oliva e aglio. Okay. No problem. Thing in there. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Allora, mettiamo un po' di olio di oliva. Alziamo la fiamma. Okay. I'll throw in all the vegetables. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we put all the vegetables. Okay. You notice he put that garlic in, still in its skin. So you don't even have to go through that process anymore. That's called in kamicha, when you leave it in the skin. So this has to cook down to a soft, soft. We have to cook, but with a high fire. Yeah. Because the vegetable have to cook very fast for maintaining the juice. Okay. And so. Sorry, okay. All right, so he took out most of the water out of these vegetables and cooked them way down. So now they have to cool, right, yeah, Michele? Exactly. Or add the cheese and all the other things. Okay. Some pecorino. Pecorino, okay. Ah. And parmesan cheese. E parmigiano, okay. Due formaggi. Si, uh, due formaggi. Due formaggi. This is going to be good. Is this your idea? Not no. my idea. <laughs> it's not my idea. Now he cuts the tip. Yeah, we have to cut, cut here. Cut, cut. We see, wait see, see. for, okay, for the making the, pa the dough. The dough, okay. Tutto nel okay. tagliere. Okay. Tanta. Tanta. Tantissimo. Tant tantissimo flour, okay. Si. Tantissimo farina. Okay. okay, va bene. Va bene. Okay. And over the top, sopra. Okay, oof. That's a lot of flour. So much flour. Yes. Then we start to mm -hmm. rubbing the pasta. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we have to make a hole on our pasta. Okay, yes, yeah. okay, a little tool here. Ah. Mm -hmm. So so this doesn't puff up, right? Exactly. So he's doing this, he's he's ratcheting the dough so that when it's baking, the it, it stays flat. It's not gonna be puffy and have all little lumps here and there. It also works as a back scratcher. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now. Now. Just cut in two parts. Uh huh. Okay. We take out the. We can start to prepare. Okay. Oh, okay. Look at that, how beautiful. See, because the vegetables are so soft now and he diced them, 
It's coming out of the pastry bag very easily. Just putting a little pressure on the pastry bag. Beautiful. Ah, si taglia la. Tagliamo. Pieghiamo un po' i lati. Così, sì, sì, sì. Esatto. Ok, so now we have just to brush with egg yep. and add the sesamo seeds. Ok. Bene così? Sì, okay. e ora okay. andiamo in forno. Andiamo in forno. 200 gradi, 15 minuti. 15 minuti. E andiamo a fare la salsa. Now we're gonna make the sauce. A bechamela sauce is one of the mother sauces exactly. of Italy. Okay, so we need some butter, right? Yeah. A one spoonful. Spoon. Yeah. Va bene? Va bene. Va bene. Okay, and so you melt the butter and now you need some flour. I usually do this in equal portions, equal parts of butter to equal parts of flour. Okay. So when the butter is melted, we'll add the flour. Then we're going to add the milk, and he's doing something a little different with this because he's going to add saffron, see, zafferano. And saffron are those little threads that come from the crocus flower, and that's why this is very expensive. So expensive. So expensive because it's painstaking to take those little pistols out of the crocus flowers. So now we're gonna add flour. You wanna make a blonde roux, biondo, see? Yeah. A un po' più, no? Just a pizza, bit of it. Pizzico. Pizzico. Okay. Va bene. Okay, good. So now we have that. So you make a blonde roux. In other words, you don't want to brown this because you want the cream sauce to remain pretty looking. So you don't want to and brown it. Okay. We add slowly, slowly. Slowly. And we've got the saffron threads in here. So now we add the milk. Okay. Wait a second. A little bit at a time. Whisking all the time so wait, that we wait make a, a nice smooth sauce. And this is going to go with the uh, the rolls. What do we call those again? The um, the vegetable strudel that uh, Michele made. Now you put salt and pepper in here, right? Just and a bit so salt, salt, and but no pepper no because pepper. you have saffron. Right, have a that's right. Very the good. Zafferano. Okay. This. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? Voila. Voila is right. Wow. So now we have the sauce. With our sauce. Oh, thank you. Beautiful color with the saffron. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. you notice he has asbestos fingers. Okay. Just some bay leaves for oh. decoration. Yeah. Just a bit. And that's it. Beautiful. I'm hungry. Chef Michele, these dishes look beautiful. Do you want to tell everybody what you did? Of course. We have a strudel of vegetables. So we have vegetable inside with some uh, pecorino cheese and uh, parmesan cheese mm -hmm. with the puff pastry on, on top. And uh, our saffron cream is a bechamela with saffron. Mm -hmm. And after we prepare our tagliatelle with egg dough, so just egg and flour, and uh, pesto with basil, uh, peanuts, and parmesan. Beautiful. You can be sure I'm going to make these at home. But I want to thank you for having me in your kitchen. Thanks so, you. chin chin. Chin chin. And until I see you nella cucina again, sono Mariana Esposito. Michele Rabazzi. Ciao. Ciao.